Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Alright, last night was NXT, the first NXT since TakeOver 30. And a lot went down last night, a lot went down. We got new NXT Tag Team Champions, shout out to Breezango. Tommaso Ciampa's back, and it looks like he's a heel once again. But the biggest story of all from last night was Karrion Cross has relinquished the NXT Championship. So what happened in TakeOver 30 was as serious as everybody thought it would be. He did separate his shoulder in the match against Keith Lee, but he was able to fight through it and become an XT champion. Last night he came out. He didn't say he was gonna relinquish it. Although I like although I love the promo. He, he he sounded very badass as he was saying it. He was just saying this is an obstacle in my path. And God help the obstacles. <laughs> like that that was badass the way he said it, but overall this situation it's literally not only bad luck, but bad timing. Because you just took the title off Keith Lee. And you put your trust to carry in Cross. Now, I'm not saying it's Cross's fault. I'm not saying Cross is bad. I'm not saying nothing like that. But it just really sucks how you just took the title off Keith Lee. And... You put it on Cross, but Cross hurts himself to the point where now he's going to be out for God knows how long with a separated shoulder. Probably, in my mind, I, the usual for a separated shoulder is what, six to eight, six, eight, like six, eight months? Like, it, it's good. He's going to be out for a couple months. So, if it is six to eight months, then we won't see him till next year. So, just heal up, get better. When you come back, the title will be waiting. And with no time wasted, not a day wasted, on the same night, William Regal came out and told us the situation and found a solution. A solution that I'm interested in. And I can't wait till next week. So next week on Tuesday, NXT will be on Tuesday next week, William Regal has announced that they will that there will be a Fatal 4-Way 60-Minute Iron Man match for the NXT title. We're talking Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Adam Cole, and Finn Balor. I think the last time we had a 60-Minute Iron Man match, I, I don't want to sit here and say Cena and Orton at bragging rights 09 was the last time we ever saw a 60 man Iron Man match. I don't want to say that. Like, we've seen Iron Man matches in the past. I know last year, uh, Seth Rollins and Dolph Ziggler had one for the Intercontinental Championship. I remember Bailey and, not Bailey and Sasha, Sasha and Charlotte having an Iron Man, Iron Woman match. Um, what was that? That was, um, that was at, what pay per view was that? Roadblock 2017. Um, I remember. I also remember. Ba yeah, Bailey and Sasha had an Iron Woman match too. Did that go 60 minutes? That might have went 60 minutes. So if that was the last one, and that was 20. That was 2015, about five years ago. So if that was, if that's the last 60 minute. Iron Man match we've seen, then yeah, it's been five years since we've had it. But this is the first time we ever had a multi-person or multi-man Iron Man match. So that one's going to be interesting. Against four of the best in NXT. Oh, it's going to be, it's going, it's going to be a wild ride tomorrow. I mean, next week. Sorry. I don't know why I said tomorrow. Um, who wins? I see. That's the thing. I don't know who's going. Whoever wins is the two-time NXT champion. Um, if I were to give a pick right now off the bat, I think Finn Balor wins. I think Finn Balor wins. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, 
Finn Balor's just looked amazing since coming back to NXT. I, I got I got a feeling him, him I got a feeling right here that he's gonna win. Because if he was in the NXT North American Championship ladder match past Sun this past Saturday, I felt like he would have won that. And I picked him to win it too. So maybe it's just a bounce back. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll see. Um, I don't think for the, I don't think they'll give it to Cole. I mean, if they give it back to Cole, then they give it back to Cole. You know what I'm saying? Um, Gargano, I don't think so. Not, not yet, at least. And Champa just came back, but he's the only person that never lost it either. So, <laughs> again, so many possibilities. We'll see. I can't wait till next next Tuesday. I might do a. I might, I might do a video on that if I'm not if I'm not too tired. Actually, no, I have to do it tomorrow. You get my point. You get my point. But yeah, get ready for next week. We got we got some wild stuff going on. But yeah, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. As always, just a quick video. I wanted to get that out the way. Payback is this Sunday, so. I will do my predictions on Saturday. I'll do it the night before because I want to know what SmackDown is going to give us in terms of matches for payback. We'll see what's up with that. Y'all see me then. Until then, peace, love, 100. Here. Yeah.